Political correctness has its face, its place, excuse me. We all want to live in a polite society. We just have to kind of work on the levels and come to an agreement of what that actually looks like. I personally am not afraid of other people's freedom of expression. I don't use it as a weapon. It just makes me feel better. And I'm sorry if I hurt anybody, et cetera, et cetera, yada, yada, yada. Everything I'm supposed to say. With like Dave Chappelle and Bill Burr, who are deliberately trying to be pr provocative. It's just completely, the kids have so much power. And I think it's hurting You're this mad. country. You're mad. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hurtful things and hateful things often come at us in the form of humor. And we just have to learn how to handle both of those things. When a piece of art that uh, is, is out there to challenge conventions does something that's really harmful, then I think it's time to turn it off. I think that there's going to be a hangover after this presidency, unlike anything that I've ever lived through. You know, I think we've gone very far rhetorically, and I think that we just got a little mending to do. And I don't think that he's a, the kind of, uh, of person that is culturally astute enough to really lead the charge on men in defense. It's hard to tell where Trump uh, ends and his constituents begin, but I think that the rhetoric of his presidency is repugnant. I just don't like the way he talks. I don't like, uh, you know, there's certain, we're living in a time where there's got to be a little more cultural sensitivity. And even a guy like me that's just writing jokes, I have to listen more than I've ever had to listen. Some of the things they say, even when they say uh, that Russia influenced the election, it's kind of like, is Russia making us racist? Is that, is that who's doing it? Oh, okay, I thought it was, oh my God, thank goodness yeah. I thought it was us. Uh, I, just, I like, thought it that way. Huh? I hadn't thought of it that way. Yeah, if, if they kill the country that way, then we're the murder weapon. More masculine presenting men have more access. How different would it be if you were quote unquote more feminine? It's tough for me to know, right? Because I just, I, I just am what I am. And, you know, there's going to be a lot of that. That's why I, I can't even read the LGBT media anymore because it's all too gay, not gay enough, wrong kind of gay. Like, jeez, oh, all right. Um, you know, I, all I know is that life became a lot easier when I just started allowing myself to be myself. And I just wanted to remind the audience that the only thing more frightening than watching a black man be honest in America is being an honest black man in America. Political correctness has its face, its place, excuse me. We all want to live in a polite society. We just have to kind of work on the levels and come to an agreement of what that actually looks like. I personally am not afraid of other people's freedom of expression. I don't use it as a weapon. It just makes me feel better. And I'm sorry if I hurt anybody, et cetera, et cetera, yada, yada, yada. Everything I'm supposed to say.